Welcome to Shawnee Union. It's been a while since I made a video, but I wanted to make a video on the Canon A1. Um, for a long time, I've, I've recommended cameras to people, and one I didn't recommend to people was the AE1. I kind of thought it was poorly built, and it didn't have a lot of features, and it was, for some reason, it was shutter priority, which I don't I don't see the point in. But um, I, I got my hands on a Canon A1 after reading an article by Dan K, saying it was one of the better Canon cameras to try. So. Went to go to my local camera store, rented it for about $20 for the weekend, and uh, had a great time. Canon A1, unlike the AE1, has um, aperture, manual, and shutter priority modes. It's a really well-built camera, so it's totally great. Made of a lot of metal, the layout's really clean. Using it feels really comfortable too, so when you're um, switching shutter speeds, um, switching your aperture, everything feels pretty natural on it. Even on the left-hand side, you'll see the um, exposure compensation. So everything with the camera feels really great. It's really fun to shoot with. The one interesting thing that I did with it was use the double exposure mode a lot. So double exposure mode is um, kind of, it's kind of interesting Like double exposure. It has like a dedicated dial to that, but something I, I didn't realize, um, a dedicated dial for the double exposure mode on the A1 works like half the time. I think it works like 80% of the time. I think if I use a camera more, it'll work 100% of the time, but um, getting used to using the double exposure mode. So in the end, Canon A1, pretty great camera. Pretty good prices on it if you can get it less than $100. Um, it uses battery only, which is fine if you're gonna get a camera like that. Um, the lenses are really cheap. Took all my pictures on there with the 50 millimeter 1.8 FD lens. Extremely popular lens, you can get it for extremely cheap too. Um, functions are really great. If you wanna get something cheaper, the AE1's probably a good option too. I've heard of some issues with the AE1 um, and the electronics, but I think for both these cameras, if they survived up to this point and don't have any issues, they're gonna survive for a pretty long time. So um, I would recommend you get them. If you wanna get that camera, feel free. It's a good camera. Um, also, videos in the future. I haven't done a video in a long time, and this is kind of like a surprise video, but um, I did get a Canon 2F, or sorry, a Leica 2F rangefinder. Pretty interesting camera um, and pretty fun travel camera. I think it's gonna be my new travel camera moving forward. But hope you guys enjoy that video. If you guys have any questions, probably do a post up video on this one too about why I took a break. Um, but hope you guys enjoy that video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. All right, thank you. Bye.